The present work is titled Bismuth Oxide Aqueous Colloidal Nanoparticles Inhibit Candida Albicans Growth and Biofilm Formation. The authors are René Hernández Delgadillo, Donají Velasco Arias, Juan José San Miguel Martínez, David Díaz, Inte Sumeta Dubé, Katiushka Niño Arevalo, and Claudio Cabral Romero. Multi-resistance among microorganisms to common antimicrobials has become one of the most significant cornerstones in modern medicine. Nanomaterials are a new alternative to successfully treat the multi-resistant microorganisms. Nanostructure materials are used in many fields, including biological sciences and medicine. In a previous work, it was demonstrated that zero-beta and bismuth colloidal nanoparticles inhibit the growth of streptococcus mutants. However, the new antimicotic potential bismuth nanostructure deriv derivatives has not been studied yet. The main objective of this investigation was to analyze the fungicidal activity of bismuth oxide nanoparticles against candida albicans and their antibiofilm capabilities. A typical preparation of colloidal bismuth oxide nanoparticles is the following. First, bismuth nitrate pentahydrate is dissolved in water. Then an aqueous solution of potassium hydroxide is added. This solution is heated under vigorous magnetic stirring. It is worth noting that the, during the entire process of mixing, a weak stream of argon is blowing over the reaction mixture. The needle shape morphology of bismuth oxide nanoparticles was determined by transmission electron microscopy. The monoclinic phase was identified using powder X-ray diffraction. The estimated crystal size of 77 nanometers was determined using the Schurer equation. From the X-ray diffraction pattern and the 10 images, we observe that the needle-shaped crystals are texture material in the 1-2-0 direction. Our results show that aqueous colloidal bismuth oxide nanoparticles display 85% of antimicrobial activity against Candida albicans growth and a complete inhibition of the biofilm formation. These results are better than the most effective oral antiseptic and commercially antifungal agents available. In this work, there is also a comparison between the antimicotic activities of bismuth oxide and bismuth nitrate, which is the precursor metallic salt. Additionally, the minimum inhibitory concentration was determined. The antibiofilm activity of bismuth oxide nanoparticles was determined by fluorescence microscopy. The results show a high degree of inhibition of biofilm formation by chlorhexidine and terbinafine, as well as bismuth oxide nanoparticles, when compared to control. These results do not change when bismuth oxide nanoparticles were added at different post-inoculation times. This data indicates that bismuth oxide nanoparticles have an anti-biofilm activity as effective as chlorhexidine and terbinafine. The cytotoxic effect of bismuth oxide nanoparticles was evaluated in monkey kidney cells, also known as beta cells, by fluorescence microscopy. The results show that bismuth oxide nanoparticles do not promote cytotoxic effect in beta cells when they are exposed for 24 hours. As conclusion, bismuth oxide nanoparticles of approximately 77 nanometers have an antimicotic activity inhibiting the growth of candida albicans as well as the antibiofilm activity. Additionally, our results suggest that bismuth oxide nanoparticles under the experimental testing conditions and concentrations do not exhibit cytotoxicity. <laughs>